everyone. Um, my name is Tuma, and we also have Claire, and we're going to discuss today about big data analytics and just give you an overview of what it is, how it works with other technologies, and how it's used in the business realm and <coughs> the accounting world as well. So go ahead, Claire, take it away. First, I will introduce the, what the big data is. Um, this is the definition in 2001. Big data is data that contains greater variety arriving in increasing volumes and with, with ever higher velocity. This is known as the three Vs. Uh, volumes is the important. Organizations collect data from a variety of sources, including business transactions, industrial equipment, social media, and more. We need to process high volumes of low density and unstructured data. Uh, velocity is the fast rate at which, at, uh, at which data is received and acted on. Variety refers to the many types of data that are available. Data comes in all types of formats, from structured numeric data in traditional database to unstructured. And next is the role of big data. First is automation which is a process that data-driven IT infrastructures allow business to automate the time consuming, like data collection and analysis. Second is, is trend and insight. Through the, through the big data, companies can discover some hidden opportunities, which can enable the company to make better products and service to meet customer needs and also improve operational efficiency. The third one is database decision making, which means the machine uses big data for predictive, predictive analysis and makes the uh, right decision. Uh, finally, cost reduction. Big data insights can be used to streamline business process in order to eliminate unnecessary costs and boost productivity. Uh, sorry. All right, so I'm going to discuss um, basically how big data works. So it says big data analytics helps organizations harness their data and use it to identify new opportunities. As you can see in the illustration to the left, is um, a kid basically trying to maximize his opportunities to raise his allowance by finding all the data to conclude that they have an 11.7% increase in their budget, um, their family budget spending. So that was just like something I found that was really funny. Um, okay, so I'm basically gonna discuss how um, big data <clears throat> combined with like um, all these technologies listed is how companies use it for their advantage for um, within use it like um, to just figure out um, how it benefits them so data is always like being generated by digital technologies whether it's apps on your phone or shopping online. And all this information combined with like other data sources becomes big data. And companies, like I said, use it to extract information that they need to provide like analysis and which could be done in real time providing efficiency essentially. So we have, I've listed six different um, technologies that are used with big data. So I'm going to start with machine learning. Machine learning, which we know is a subset of AI, makes it possible to quickly and um, automatically produce models that can analyze bigger, more complex data and deliver faster and more accurate results on a very large scale. So um, it provides organizations like to have better chances of identifying 
profitable opportunities and avoiding unknown risks. Then we have um, data management. Data management, basically with companies, they um, there's a lot of inflow, um, influx of data being brought into an organization. So they need to um, figure out a way to establish and maintain standards for quality data. And once that data is reliable, they can also establish like a um, data management program that gets the entire enterprise on the same page, basically providing uniformity. Um, data mining is a technology that helps um, you examine large amount of data to discover patterns in the data and information can be used for further analysis to help answer complex business questions. So a data mining software, you like sift through all of the chaotic data, pinpoint what's relevant and use that information to assess likely outcomes and then accelerate the pace of making informed decisions. So with all of these, it's basically about um, efficiency. Um, next is Hadoop, which is, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, it is actually one of the um, most popular um, software used with big data. So Hadoop software can store large amount of data and it runs applications on clusters of commodity hardware. It um, has become the key technology, like I stated, to doing business due to the constant increase of data volumes and varieties and its distributed comp um, computing model processes big data really fast. So, and also it's free, so that's a bonus. Um, then we have predictive analytics, which uses data along with algorithms and machine learning techniques to identify like the likelihood of future outcomes based on historical data. And it's all about basically providing the best assessment on what will happen in the future. So I know some of the most common applications for predictive anal analytics includes fraud detection, risk, operations, and marketing. And I know an example would be um, Netflix, how they use predictive models and inform you of new shows that you may like by classifying the data of past and current shows that you probably liked or you're currently watching. And then there's text mining. So text mining technology, you can um, analyze data from like the web or books or any other text-based sources to uncover insight you haven't really noticed before. And it uses machine learning and other natural um, language processing technology to just like sift through documents, whether it's emails, blogs, Twitter, and um, to just like help you analyze large amounts of information and discover like new topics and term relationships. So those are just um, a few of the many technologies and softwares that are used with um, big data. Now I will talk about big data analysis used in business. Um, in retail, uh, in retail, big data can help companies provide customers with a better experience. Uh, retailers collect data through multiple channels like uh, social media, store a size record. They use this data to analyze customers and provide each customer with the most suitable goods and service. The big data can also help to product development. The company use big data to predict the needs of current customers and discover potential trends like seasonal demand, popular complementary products, they use these analysis results to help launch new product and service. In upselling, big data also um, help, uh, also plays an important role. Uh, retailers can use big data to offer 
personalized recommendations to customers. The second part is about healthcare. And big data is widely used in healthcare. Researchers can use it to help identify disease genes and biomarker point to health risk. The quality of care with, uh, will impo improve with the use of big data. The hospital records each patient's diagnosis and treatment. They will upload this information to the database. After that, no matter which hospital the patient goes to, the doctor can find his complete medical information. This will allow the doctor to judge more ac uh, accurately. In the detection of insurance fraud, big data is also an important means. It can find suspicious behavior through analysis and quick check, quickly check it. Compared with the traditional method, it helps to find some potential problems. The last one is the use of logistics. Companies can collect data through GPA trackers, uh, telemetry systems, weather and traffic mo uh, monitoring service to generate real-time optimized uh, distribution routes. Big data makes inventory management more effect effective. The big data of the company analyzes the data of each customer for a specific period, predict the demand, prepare the goods in, the, uh, in advance, and uh, reduce the delivery time. Logistic companies will also use big data to track the status of car cargo transportation, including for, including for usage and vehicle health, which can optimize cost and improve driver safety. All right, so <clears throat> big Data. I'm going to talk about big data analytics when it's used in the accounting world. So accountants use um, big data to help businesses uncover insight, improve efficiency, and just better manage risk. So so regards to tax, there are. Um, Accounts who do assist as investment advisors, they use big data to find behavioral patterns in consumers and the market. Um, these patterns can help businesses build analytic um, models that can help them identify um, investment opportunities and also generate like a higher profit margin. And um, tax accountants, they use data science to quickly analyze complex ta taxation questions related to investment scenarios. And then in turn, those decisions can be expedited, which allows companies to respond faster to opportunity to just beat the competition and also the market. So those are definite advantages. Now, in regards to auditing, <clears throat> auditors, whether they're working internally or externally, they can um, shift from a sample based model to employ continuous monitoring, which, um, which, um, where like much larger data sets can be analyzed and verified. And this like results in less um, margin of errors resulting in more precise um, recommendations. So there's um, continuous auditing, which leads to reduced errors and risks. And I know Professor Vassarelli knows a lot about continuous auditing. And also deeper analytics can help auditors better understand their client's environment to improve audit quality and detect fraud. 
So I'm going to end with um, a video on a leading specialist who will provide some examples of how continuous auditing with respect to big data have been used in their lab and helping with like different companies. Hi, I'm Nicholas Vassarelli. I use big data to change auditing. I was at Bell Laboratories in the late 80s. Good looking guy. And uh, I did a project which was aimed at monitoring and understanding the behavior of the accounting systems. After I left the labs, came to Rutgers, we developed this thing we call the Continuous Auditing and Reporting Laboratory at the American Institute, the Institute of Internal Auditors, etc. all have adopted this generic idea of an audit that is continuous, but although they adopted and they have guidelines, companies haven't got there yet. We have under the Rutgers Accounting Research Center, we have a thing we call the CARLAB, the Continuous Audit and Reporting Laboratory exists for about 12 years. And the Car Lab has this whole set of projects with different companies. We do applied research, but the applied research we do is original. We work with a lot of different companies on different type of projects. We work with one of the big four, and we have been de developing what we call predictive analytics technology. And the idea is that you predict what will be the financial results of a company by sophisticated mathematical models. The second idea, we did a project for Parker Gamble, and this project was for verifying uh, travel and entertainment expenses, a thing that they call PCAD. We developed a thing called an expert system, uh, basically emulating a person and emulating what the rules that she uses for detecting potential fraud. We have a project with uh, Itauni Banco, largest private bank in Brazil, and we have been reviewing credit card charges and predicting the liquidity. We have been finding that in our projects, very often the things we do are not really most appreciated by auditors, but they are most appreciated by management. Our ability to predict income, our ability to find bad pricing, our ability to find errors in systems are very appreciated by management. So we are interested in big data analytic methods for improving auditing.